Here we are once again with the evil scientist Bob, and we have Wilson, and there's Emmett. And well, Bob can explain what's going on here. You see, there is a certain flavor of Mountain Dew that Bob really likes that is no longer available, and they're doing an illegal trade of this said Mountain Dew. Hopefully the police don't come in and bust them. By the way, Bob's out of money, so he can't actually pay for this Mountain Dew, so you know what? Everything is truly awesome. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's the 5 0. They're coming to bust Bob. Uh, Bob, you better get in the car. Uh, Wilson, here, let's close the trunk. Oh, okay, well, that kind of worked. Uh, here, we'll just attach Wilson to the car. Bob, you better get out of here. All right, bye, losers. Bob is out of here. Yeah, buddy. Well, nothing can stop Bob now. He's got all the mountain. Okay, there was a police barrier there. Uh, oh, geez. Um, well, we have a bit of an issue here. It's okay, I don't think Bob poses a threat now. I think Bob's going to jail. And also, please hit the thumbs up button, that way we can bail Bob out of jail. So, you were probably amazed by the ability that the police had to take down Bob there. Well, we're gonna do a bit of experimenting here today with said police stopping measures. So, we got our cool cop cars back here. We have a couple, uh, sheriff's department here. They actually come with some really cool, like, uh, bulletproof vests. Do these things actually work, or... Hold on. What the... What is the point of these? I mean, was it a little less than leaf? Oh dear. Um, oh, oh, you have to hit there. Okay, well, it it somewhat works. I mean, the first bullet made it, oh. Okay, well, it's okay. Let's just throw these over here. This is not about the, uh, the actual humans here. This is about the police cars. So I was trying to think of like different methods and different ways to upgrade these things. They've got the nice little bull bar on here. But, what if we were to make, like, somewhat of a police grabber? Now, I spawned in, which I think this is, like, a tuk-tuk or something. This thing's useless. I need to actually spawn in a car. Because I want to see if we can actually, uh, maybe stop the wheels here. So, I guess there's another question. Can you blow out tires in this game? Uh, let's get the shotgun. Okay, there is no tire damage. So, we're gonna need a different method to stop it. So, if we were to build something that goes under the car whenever the police car catches... Can we find a way to stop it? I mean, a simple spike might do the trick. Or we could just load spikes up on the front of the cop car. I'm not really sure if that's a, a really good option either. But uh, we're going to experiment here. So I fastened a support to here. So you got two options. You could put a seat on here and have a guy with a shotgun trying to stop the suspect. Or we could mount other things to this. Like I said, the spike strip I think would be good. So... Let's make, actually, we're going to save this as a base version, and then we'll uh, upgrade it from here. Okay, so I've got a simple spike ready to go. So I think this will be enough to poke under the suspect vehicle, but we'll have to see here. Okay, so let's follow him, and oh, okay, so that actually does get the, uh, the bottom of the vehicle, but it's not enough to stop him, I don't think. Actually, truly, who's driving? Oh, there's the tuk-tuk. Uh, who's driving the show right now? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we stopped it via Tuk Tuk Haunt. Let's delete this thing. So, obviously, that's not enough to stop it. We do have its back wheels propped up with this. I really wish there was tire physics in this game where you could actually, like, blow out tires because I'd like to make a spike strip. But there might be other options here. Yeah, this might be a good way to... Oh. So, yeah, definitely putting a, uh, a seat on there would be probably pretty good for takedowns. Maybe we could attach some sticky bombs or something to the, uh, the suspect. Um, yeah, we want to try something else here. You know, it might just be good to go with the good old-fashioned roadblock, but this is going to be fine. So if we put a helmet on this uh, FBI agent, and we put some body armor on here. Oh, uh, you need that piece there, buddy. There we go. So we're going to set you in this seat on the front of the cop car and see if you can take down people. Okay, we're just going to strap you in here. There we go. And we are good. So what do we want to hand this person? I mean... There is the option for C4. You know what? That's probably not a good idea. Let's go with maybe a shotgun or something. There we go. Looks like he's ready for tactical takedown. So if we shoot this... Oh, yeah. This is perfect. Dude, we could totally light up the suspect's vehicle. Maybe take out their fuel tank. Okay, so we are ready to start their pursuit. I'm going to pause it. Let's go ahead and start up the vehicles, and let's do this. Oh, uh, okay. The one vehicle didn't start. Okay, there it goes. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> This is still going to work, Haunt. We got to work the shotgun. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, okay. He's fine. How do we just eat the other vehicle out? Okay, well, we better hope this... Okay, he's doing it again. I'm trying to grab the shotgun right now. Oh, and we popped it back out. Okay, I think it's in position now. Uh... <laughs> Wait. 
Where did this officer come from? Okay, we need to move this one out of the way, please. Uh, you're not involved in this. Oh, 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 there's the wall. Okay, so maybe strapping somebody to the front of the car isn't the safest thing. What if we just moved on to like roadblocks? So I've got a bit of an idea. What if we were to do a police roadblock with the launch platforms here? So say the suspect's driving this way, uh, we could just hit him with the launch platform. Also, by the way, which way is this supposed to be aimed? We need to test this out real quick. Can you please walk over this platform? I think it's the, uh... oh. Oh, do I have to activate it? I might need to put a sensor on here. Okay, well, I mean, that wasn't the satisfying launch that I was looking for. Hold on. Do it again, Mr. Officer, please. Uh, and whee! <laughs> so picture that being a car. Where'd he go? Oh, jeez, he got some air. So it's a good question of like, is that enough to launch a car? I mean, we could probably do a little test here. Okay, we got a launch platform and... Oh, it is perfect. Dude, this is gonna look like some Fast and the Furious stuff here. So now it's just a question of getting it timed. Uh, maybe either having a sensor or something's gonna have to activate it so when the uh, suspect vehicle drives over it, it yeets them through the air. Okay, so I've got a bit of an idea here. We have three launch pads. I've got them connected to a motion sensor. So in theory, when something goes over this, uh, say a car, uh, it should activate. I might have the wrong cable on here. Hold on, let's see. Uh, yep, we indeed have the wrong cable, but you guys get the idea. That would totally work. Okay, so in order for this to be a successful test, we have two police cars. We have two police officers. The roadblock, they have set up right in front of them. Uh, so they need to live in order for this to work. I think these things activate fast enough with this motion detector that it should fling the suspect car over the roadblock. Speaking of, here is our suspect. So he's coming up to the roadblock. Slow it down. Boom! Oh no, there's a potential the roadblock just flung into the cops. But look at that. Look at how effective that is. Wait, what happens when the suspect lands on all four and just drives off? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> After all that, the suspect's gonna drive. All right, well, uh, yeah, the suspect just drove off. We need an anchor for this. Um, well, it's only really a couple busted shins, I think. Uh, that looks terrible. All right, um, here, let's grab this. So we could either add a weight to it because anchoring it to the ground, I mean, that's kind of cheating. Uh, maybe we can do it with natural weight. Let's grab a weight real quick. All right, let's grab one ton here. Oh, sorry, officers. Uh, we'll have to reset our, uh, our officers here. So let's add some weight to it. So we'll add these, connect it to it. Hopefully it'll be enough to keep it down. We probably want to distribute the weight to the other side too, but I don't want to block the path. Maybe this is enough. Either that or we just made a huge battering ram to crush the police officers. I'm not really sure. Not gonna lie, I'm still in awe that the, uh, the suspect was able to drive away from that. Um, all right, so we have the weights. I mean, we could attach it to the ground. That'd be the cheating way but let's see if the weight helps. Boom. Okay, so the weight, whoa, it sent it like straight up and we saved the officers. We have created an effective roadblock here in People Playground that only kills the suspect. I mean, it's really not what we care about, right? The suspect, they were doing bad stuff and they were running and uh-oh. No, dude, okay. <laughs> Wait, did we just create something that's an endless loop? Okay, well, you guys did not see that over there. The only problem I'm running into with these roadblocks is the whole fact that, well, they don't actually stop the suspect vehicle. They flip it over and it comes back at them. I mean, there's a such thing as landmines. I feel like that's excessive force, is it not? I mean, says the person that just flung a uh, suspect vehicle about 100 feet through the sky. You know, I got something called the spike bomb too. Wouldn't these like spike the tires? You know, I feel like those might be a little bit more effective. It, can I actually activate those with the motion sensor is the question. So if we have spike bombs and then we might have to create like a little metal barrier for the police officers behind it. Okay, so here's a question. Is there a delay on the uh, the old spike bombs here? Or are they instant? I'm hoping they're instant. So you got good old Bob walking here. Hopefully they can also be activated via wire. 
I'm thinking they can be. Okay, Bob, you need to shove your head down in there, please. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. There is a delay on these. Uh-oh. Well, this is going to be beautiful. Wait, we're in slow-mo. How big is the... What just happened? Uh, okay, so these things are really laggy. It said it shot out a thousand spikes. And as you can see, we have completely frozen here. What do you think Bob's thinking right now? Well, actually, you know, this is probably going to be painless. Oh, dear. Okay, so... Wait. That feels like that would stop a vehicle, right? Did it... It shot him up. Wait. There is a potential. Look at the damage it did to the vehicle. Okay, I got a crazy theory here. Oh, it knocked the engine out. Okay, let me test something. So there's a potential we can make this work. I think it fires the spikes up. So if we were to aim the grenade this way and then have a motion sensor aimed also to the left, so it would probably pick it up in enough time uh, depending on if we can actually adjust the motion sensor it might actually be able to pick it up which it's gonna block it a little bit but that beam goes a decent bit can i adjust the beam oh yeah we could set the range to this so if i go to maybe 15 let's go apply look how far that shoots over so the suspect vehicle would hit the beam well ahead of the grenade or its little timer that it has for it to go off okay let's do another little test here let's move the sensor uh, let's place a vehicle and a person here. Let's make sure that the, uh, the spikes go up. Because I think they go up and maybe out. But they shouldn't go behind, right? Let's go slow-mo. Let's go click. Oh, this is going to be epic. I have never seen this thing before. All right, waiting for it. Waiting for it. Oh, that sound. Uh, okay. Oh! Okay, so there are certain spikes that go back, but most of them go to the left and go up. So I still think you would want to create a protective barrier for the cops. Folks, I can feel it in my bones. This is the uh, this is the way here. So here, let's create this. And then what we're going to do, let's go ahead and let's add our motion detector. We'll set its range to 15. So we're going to hook these two together. There we go. And then it's also going to spawn in a metal barrier. I need a bulletproof barrier. Actually, a big metal wall would probably work. Here, let's do the bulletproof sheets. I think three would be fine. So the cops would be fine behind this thing. So let's go boom. We'll attach these. We'll secure these all together. And we'll see if it actually protects the police. This might be more effective than my last one. And I'm happy about that. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We got our vehicle set up over here. Let's go ahead and activate it. So here's the question. Do you guys think that it's going to have enough time uh, to actually go off and save uh, the officers here? So let's go boom. Let's do this in slow-mo. You can see where it is. Okay, here we go. We are in range now. Is it going to go off in enough time? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> we just conked the officer. What's the timing on this thing? Okay. Oh, it wasn't far off. And look, it yeeted it back. Dude. If that thing was closer, okay, maybe we need to adjust it to maybe like 25 on the range. Uh, definitely the suspect, I think, is down in there. Uh, also, there is spikes raining from the sky. Okay, here we are. One more attempt. All right, it is in range. I set it to 35 here, so I'm thinking the timing might be good. No, why is the timing still so off? Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. It's going to hit it in air and fling it. You know, to be fair, it actually... Well, you know, I think the explosion... All right, the cop's still gone. We need to find a better solution for that. But it bounced the suspect vehicle back and then exploded it, and it shot its engine out. And as you can see, uh, the suspect is... Uh, we'll call it incapacitated right now. So we've got one more test. Obviously, a steamroller would be pretty devastating to the police and their roadblocks. Oh, dear. Wait, it's actually stopping it pretty good. I bet you if this thing had a little more momentum, like it would totally crush everything. I wonder if we could stop the old steamroller with the spike grenade. So unless this thing is way faster than I thought it would be, this should be the perfect stop. At least, maybe. I don't know if those uh, 
little spikes are gonna be able to stop that big front wheel. Okay, here we go. It is not within range yet. I could somewhat see the laser coming up. All right, are we gonna be able to stop the uh, the raging steamroller guy? Okay, they're in the sensor. Uh-oh. Oh, it went off. Oh, uh-oh. Dude, those things just bounced off the front wheels. Uh, so Mr. Steamroller just drives right over it. So, not made for heavy vehicles. Look how protected he is right now. They're just bouncing off the roof. I mean, the big, I guess you could say metal barrier to protect the police would probably stop him, but the spike grenade seems to only work on normal cars. So here's a question. What if we throw a spike grenade in there with him? Goodbye, Bob. Oh dear, this is gonna, oh dear. That's probably gonna be really bad once it unfreezes. Not really sure what we learned here today. We learned that Komodo is not really effective at making barriers. Oh, oh, it filled up the, the cab. Yeah, but if you guys have any ideas for barriers at home, comment down below and we'll see you guys next time.